I wanted to put together this short video to show people that are using an HDL like Verilog how they can make a submission to Tiny Tape Out. So we have a few things on the website working with HDLs. On the resources we're collecting useful information and also got a link to the Verilog and HDL channel on the Discord server. We've got HDL templates, so we'll add more templates here, but for now we've just got this Verilog demo, so I'll get to that in a minute. And then we've also got this article by Tholin, who's written a bit of information on how the testing works. So if you want to build a test for your design, that's a really good resource. So let's take a look at the Verilog demo. Uh, we've got all the green lights passing, and this is just a fork from the submission template. So let's take a look at the info.yaml. And the key thing here is we've set the ID to zero and we're including a list of the source files and the top module. So if we take a look at the source, I've got the counter.v, decoder.v and counter.v is, and that's where the top module is. Now if we take a look at the action, the GDS one is the important and what's happening is we're fetching Verilog and building config. Now, because this is a Verilog design, we're just creating the include file. So I can show you what that looks like on the shell. So I'm just gonna run create user config. And what that has done is it's created this one file here. So to make open lane work, we have this config.tickle. And one of the things it does is includes this user config.file. And that basically just sets the design name and lists this uh, list of the uh, dependencies. And those are the things that we set in the info.yaml. Now let's talk a little bit about how you can test your design. I'm a fan of CocoDB. Uh, so I have this make file that is the CocoTB default and I set my Verilog sources here including a top level testbench.v and here I'm basically instantiating my design wiring up some inputs and outputs with some convenience wires so I can talk about clock and reset instead of port 0 and 1 and I can take the 7 segment display and make a segments output and then all the testing actually happens in this Python file. So I start a clock, I do a reset, and then I count to 10, waiting for this 100 clocks, which is how long it takes to count up to the next number on the seven segment display, and then uh, asserting that the segments that I'm getting out are matching the expected segments to be shown on the display. So I can just do make here and that's going to leave me a GTK wave file. I mean, a VCD file. I've already got the GTK wave file. And if I load that, I can see there's the clock, the reset, and then the segments counting up in the order that I expect. And we do have a test GitHub action. And this is essentially installing the OSS CAD suite from Yosis HQ. Um, printing a bit of debug information, then changing to the source directory and running make, which will run that make file. And then it's searching for this uh, failure in the results.xml. So if there is a problem, this GitHub action will fail. Now it's optional to add the test. You don't need that to submit your design, but I do recommend it given the long waits that we'll have to receive our designs and the fact that we can't change things afterwards. So good luck, let me know how you get on and I'll see you in the Verilog and HDLs channel of the Discord.